the room that you normally keep the hell that's where i find my card to to buy because i'm not staying there hey guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is damdola and this is just the right channel for you i want to say thank you to all of you that took our time to subscribe to my channel thank you so much if you haven't subscribed yet to you to my channel please i'm begging you go ahead and click the subscribe button like my video turn on post notification and tell me something great at the comment section the real housewives of abuja episode 11 recall that i said that Arafa offered to take the ladies to South Africa, Cape Town precisely for a staycation. But I'm sure she's the one paying for their flight. She's going to pay for their flight, their feeding, house, they will stay. She's going to spend a lot of money. These ladies, they have money. You push it just please bless me with some cash. Anyways, the first part of the show episode level was where the ladies were, you know, going inside the house in South Africa, precisely Cape Town. And um, Arafa told them that they should go and, you know, look for their rooms. Apparently, they, Arafa already set a card, you know, on that card, their names are written there. Each room has a bed that carries their names on it. The first person to actually get a room happens to be Ojo Pashorela. Apparently, Ojo Pashorela's room was so nice, was so good, was actually upstairs. The next person was Princess. Guess what, guys? Princess got a room next to Arafa. And apparently that was the second best room in that house. I don't know why Arafa is doing that for Princess, but then that's beautiful because I mean Arafa and Princess, they didn't start on a good note. Though they've tried to, you know, issue out their quanta, but they've had too much of dramas, like too much of dramas for them to, you know, now start being best of friends. I'm actually very, very surprised. Like I'm so so surprised. Okay, so every other person got their room. Samantha came very late, so I don't know about her room. They did not talk about her home room. The one that was actually really surprising and so much of a drama happens to be Tito Pai's room. Apparently, Tito Pai's room was downstairs. It was actually very, very small. According to her, that room belongs to housemates. Alpha gave Tito Pai a BQ precisely, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel really bad for Tito Pai because, I mean, out of all the rooms, out of all the rooms in that house, they had to give her a small room. According to Rafa, she actually did that intentionally because she feels that Tutupai is always too petty when it comes to rooms matter. When it comes to issues, basically, she handles issues in a very childish way. So she says, like, you know, get on her nerves by giving her that particular room. Tutupai was really angry. She wasn't having it. She was like, she wants to go out. She wants to leave. She goes to a particular hotel. She was so peace. We're not trying to, like, drag her. Oji was trying to, like, drag her, like, girl just calm down take a chill pee during our first confession now she's like you deserve it girl you deserve it you deserve it then later she now called um spy to say that she was just joking with her that she has another room for her that is actually very very fine she just wanted to get on her nerves to see how she's going to you know act and everything so next they showed us the parts where they were to have dinner in the evening and um we're actually hoping that this vacation is going to be a very lovely vacation it's going to be fun filled girls on a trip having fun no drama at the same time i also want to see basketballs i mean yeah <laughs> i just want to see drama okay so dinner time guys arafa decided to you know start up the dinner time by telling the ladies that she wants them to have sisterhood relationship that a lot of things have happened people have you know have dramas bastards blast themselves left and right that she would love it if they can you know start a sisterhood kind of thing well i don't think that's a bad idea but then comfort had to stop her there like yo stop there you need to have a drink and then she's like, oh, I'm so sorry, there's food, there's... Okay. At the end of the day, they all went to get their food, except Tutupai and Oje Pashurela. Apparently, Oje Pashurela is still really pissed. And I was actually thinking she was angry because of the drama she had with Princess. But apparently, it turns out she's angry for another reason, guys. So when it was time for them to have conversations, like Arafa was saying, say that always saying that um uh, super um, and Uchi you're a very nice person, miss of happiness, but then this is what I think she changed about you, you know, just to go around like that. And I got to Uchi Pashwela's story. Uchi Pashwela is like she's actually very pissed at Arafa. I'm like, ah, what happened? Remember that Arafa told Tutupai and Comfort. Was it Tutupai and Comfort? Tutupai and Princess, I think, that what Madame Oje Prashwala is selling is fake. That it does not carry carats, consistency, color, and everything. That it is fake. 
she actually said it she said it she came out to say it and OJ Prashuela heard that from Tutu Pai. Tutu Pai went to go and tell OJ Prashuela. Tutu Pai cannot just... <laughs> went to go and tell OJ Prashuela about it. OJ Prashuela got so angry. And that was what actually really changed her mood. And apparently, I think she was actually coming for that staycation so that she can show her first shige. And she said it. And immediately, I like the fact that Rafa did not even argue with her. Rafa even apologized immediately. Rafa was even like, I mean, we ha we've had this conversation inside the plane before, and I begged you. I said, I'm sorry. But it turns out that um, Oshie Pochirela wanted apology publicly, like in front of every other person. That's all right. I just love the fact that Arafa was so mature and she just said, I'm sorry. Sorry is a very, very important word. It can go a long way. Trust me. Sorry. Oh, God. You don't want to joke with sorry. Anyways, moving forward, it got to um, Supai's turn. Guess what? During the dinner, guys, Supai was just quiet. True, she was literally on her phone. She wasn't saying anything to anybody. And guess what? The ladies did not even care because it turns out throughout the episodes in this particular Real Housewives of Abuja, Supai has just been asking for attention. Like she literally just wants attention. You know when you try to be all dramatic so that people can actually see you, you want to be noticed, you want attention, you want to be attended to at every point in time. Like I am a baby, you must treat me like a baby, a sports brat. That is exactly what Supai does. And guess what? They had to neglect that this time around. It's high time. It is I said this why needs to grow up. Girl, you're gonna be 40 very soon. You need to grow up. You know, you know a baby. She needs to act mature. You can't be acting like a baby. She didn't say anything. She was quiet and nobody really gives her. So, hmm. Princess now got to her own time. Princess has something to say. Guess what, guys? Princess has been a good baby. She has really been a very lovely baby. At the beginning of this show, Princess was a drama, was a Laura. Now, Princess is now like the amazing person that I really, really love in this particular real outside of Abuja. I'm loving this girl. Like, for real. Princess, if you're watching this particular video right now, I love you. Now, hmm. Princess had to face Samantha. Princess was like, okay. She actually spoke about what she does like about every other person and what she doesn't like about them. Then it got to Samantha's time. She said, Samantha is actually a very nice person. She's cool. She's quiet. She's this, she's that. But then she's actually very defensive. Actually, if you watch the real houses of Abuja very well, you will know that Samantha is extremely defensive. She doesn't talk much. But then when you talk to her, when you try to talk to her, she gives you this, hello, excuse me, don't talk to me anyhow. You know. That's the kind of person Samantha is. Either ways, they are all lovely real housewives of Abuja. Now, after that Odina experience, did I tell you guys that Tsutupai worked out on the ladies? She did. I told you guys, she's childish. Tsutupai, you are childish. <laughs> Please don't come for me. Don't come for me, girl. Anyways, so... The next day, Arafa woke up and then no man no matter now. She woke up, she went to every other lady's room. She went to Princess Room at first. She went to give her a gift. She gave her like two bags somewhere. I don't know what was inside, but I think I saw a two-piece. And we're looking all lovely, very nice. And they had conversations about Supai. And then Princess is like, Supai is not loyal. I don't know what she means by Spy is not loyal, but then she kept on saying that Spy is not a loyal friend. I mean, those two, they are parties, they are friends. I'm even surprised that they are not really you know cool like they used to like the beginning they used to be really really close like they are close pal and now you're saying that Supai is not loyal i don't know if you guys can recall the drag party that um was hosted by arafa that um princess and arafa had to you know exchange bars booths, you know there was a time when they were talking about getting a man for for Supai. Supai already knows about this She's not in a relationship or a courtship or married to anybody. So um, they already agreed that they're going to get her a man, a good one at that. And they even gave um, comfort to be in charge of the whole thing. So um, this whole thing about men matter, I think it's actually really somehow getting to Supai. She does not really like the whole thing. I don't know why they're not bringing up that matter all of a sudden after... How many how many weeks they are bringing up that matter again princess is the one bringing it up actually she's like can you remember what happened that time that 
to spy is not loyal she's not a loyal friend i don't know if she's actually really loyal i don't really know i can't really tell that she's loyal but one thing i know for certain is that she likes attention she's extremely dramatic she's really temperamental she needs to work on that she needs to really work on that like yo girl you need to work on all those things then arafa left um princess room went to meet supai immediately and we saw supai <sighs> you know what i mean guys i'm not surprised i'm not even surprised at all sorry but i'm not surprised anyways i'm not gonna talk about that so um arafa tried to talk to supai like why did you leave during the dinner yesterday she's like she wasn't in a very good space she wasn't really having it she wasn't really in a happy mode you know uh, at the end of the day she, she apologized to arafa before arafa left and that end that part i'm not gonna go too deep on that part yeah so after that arafa went to meet comfort apparently comfort and arafa they already had this a bit of um issue they have this bit of misunderstanding between both of them i don't know if you guys can remember there was a part where arafa was pissed at comfort and it was even arafa that told Susupaya about what comfort told arafa so comfort is supposed to be angry with arafa but then arafa is somehow angry with with um comfort so they had to like talk about the issue and apparently they were you know at a point in time trying to agree to disagree trying to disagree to agree it was already you know getting too much of a um, um back and forth i wasn't really understanding what was going on anymore because at first i saw comfort trying to drink gary and granota was actually laughing at me i'm like yo that's nice but then all of a sudden they're arguing can you guys move on please move on thank you very much and then at the end of the day i showed us a part where the ladies were you know going to the yards to go have fun and some people were saying some things during that conversation i was saying that they were expecting a big yard but then they saw a very small one people like samantha like yo and then they now showed us what to expect in episode 12 and we were seeing samantha and arafa having dance goals and then samantha was being told to keep quiet I don't want to say the exact word that Rafa used, but they don't just use the word keep quiet. For a lady to tell another lady to shh, it's a lot. It's a whole lot. It's a lot. I can't take it. I'm so sorry. You can't tell me to shush my mouth. Who are you? <laughs> oh my God. It's going to be a lot, a lot more guys because princess to put their mouth inside. Yes. Everybody, they chew their mouth inside that matter. And I really cannot wait to see, you know, more and more drama. Also, Pasharela coming for Arafa during that dinner. Uh, it's a big surprise to me, like I said earlier on. She was so angry. She was so pissed. But then the most important thing is that Arafa apologized. So many blasts. But the most important thing is that Arafa was so sorry to everybody. And that's actually really cool. Really, really cool. So we expect to see more drama in episode 12. To keep a lock with Dami by subscribing to my channel. It's very, very important. Subscribe to my channel. We've come to the end of today's video. That's all I have for you guys. For now, many more are to come. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like my video, turn on post notification. And tell me something great at the comment section. I love you all. See ya. Bye.